You're not a guy that uh, gets on the mound and showcases a ton of emotion, and I, I, you know I think that's probably personality, maybe a little bit, of it, a little bit of it by design too. Uh, but give us an idea of when the phone rings in the pen, and you know that it's it's Bo Mel or Emo, and they're saying, "All right, get up, it's time." From that point to throwing a couple pitches to watching the game to getting in there, what's your mentality like? How, how do you mentally get yourself ready for that? Well, one of my idols growing up was Mariana Rivera. And, and I mean, obviously he's the best closer of all time. But I think one of the cooler things that I've seen, and I, I know, you know, there's, there's a lot of play with emotion. Everyone wants to, you know, cool. I, I just, I really like watching Mar Mariana Rivera come into a big situation as a kid, strike out the side, and it looked like, hey, I, I've, done, done, I've done it before. <laughs> you know, he, he wouldn't, you know, he wasn't screaming and yelling. And, and to me as a kid, I, I watched that and I, I took notice. And, and, and growing up, that's how my dad was too. It was always like, hey, you know, don't, don't show off, no, no showboating. So just as a kid, you know, that's kind of how it was brought up. And, and I just, I just kind of continue to do that. Um, it's just one of those things where, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's that, that, that's my job. Like, if, if, like I'm, I'm supposed to, to get outs, you know, in, in, in that spot because I'm, I'm, I'm there. So, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not a highly emotional guy. I just, I just got got, got to do my job, and, and and that's it. Listen, I'm already jealous of you that you get to play for my hometown, Green and Gold, and I'm even more jealous that you get to play under Bo Mill. Take me into what a locker room life is, just the way he communicates, because I've yet to hear a bad word spoken about him. Yeah, I mean, Bo Mill's a, a true, true class act. I mean, he's a he's a great manager, a, a good players manager. He has your back. Um, you know, he, he keeps things light. You know, there's uh, obviously over a course of, of all, all the games we play, there's going to be some tough, tough uh, stretches. And, you know, there, there's no, he's, he, he never panics. I mean, look, we, we play hacky sack out, out, out in <laughs> left, left field. You know, no other manager would, would let you do that. You know, we, he just, he's, he's good at keeping things light. And, and, you know, he's, 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 he's just a, he's a great guy and a great coach. So, it's, like I said, I mean, blessings all around. I'm able, able to play for a great coach, a great organization, great teammates. It's just, it's, it's been good for me. Lou, I think you qualify right now for best beard on the A's. You condition that thing? It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> thick, man. Oh, no, never condition. Really? No, no. I That's would say the second best beard. The second best beard. Because you know one of our tra trainers, obviously Jeff, has a better beard. I've seen that. But, okay. But but yes, I'm I'm kind of coming in second here. I'm I'm gonna get nice and full, you know, for, for that playoff push, and I'm gonna kind of look like a crazy guy. <laughs> Let me uh, close it out with this, and I don't mean to put you on the spot. In fact, I'm not going to put you on the spot. I realize baseball might be going through some changes starting Monday. Pitchers, sticky substances. I'm not gonna ask you to comment on that, right? But I'm also seeing that only a few people in baseball are talking about this publicly. Would you tell me at least that there's a lot more people talking behind the scenes trying to figure out like how the game might be different or how it might look on Monday or, or that there's some concern going on behind the scenes? I mean, uh, I think there's definitely some concern. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'd love to talk about it. You know, it's not, I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. I think it's a good, it's a good thing for the game. But my only concern is the ball that we get I mean, they might as well just soap, put it in baby powder and then <laughs> throw it out there. And then, you know, you're expecting us to, to, to throw throw that. I'm not saying I think that the spider tack is nonsense. I think all that stuff is ridiculous. But the, my only complaint is just make it to, so the ball isn't a, 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 a pool cube. You know, that's that, that's all. So I think, but at the end of the day, I think it's good for, for the game. I think it's kind of r ridiculous that guys can just get 400 just add 400 spin rate to whether it's a fastball curveball i think that's i think that's crazy so i think it's a good thing you know but o over time there's I, I just hope that the ball they they put something on the ball before they give it to us that it's not the slickest thing that, that, that's all for me lou great stuff we really appreciate your time have a great rest of your weekend bud all right thank you as well